Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. Today we're gonna draw. Wait. Apple Teke. The Apple Teke. Very good. Today we're gonna draw the Apple Teke horse. So this is a breed of horse that comes from Turkmenistan. It's extremely strong, very fast, and very, very light on its feet. Yes, it's from the region around Turkey, above Turkey, in Central Europe, um, and uh, I guess Eastern Russia. Um, it's kind of the horse that, that has, that really made that area fortified and strong for thousands of years. They were amazing war horses, they've been bred they, of course, they were very similar to the Arabians of the Arabian Desert, but they were specially bred for the rugged land. Um, they don't need- Can we just draw right now? Can we just draw right now? Yeah, let's just talk about it later, okay. But let's talk about some characteristics of this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous horse. Okay, first, it's got a beautiful but long and skinny head. It's kind of like an Arabian. It's got high set eyes. Um, their eyes are not as big as Arabians, and they don't have as big of a, a forehead usually. So their straight nose, kind of like a thoroughbred. They have a long arch neck. That part is very much more like Arabians. Some of them even have like bowed out neck that's like very, very high set. They have really high shoulders. Um, this is almost a 45 degree angle. Why do they? Why do they have high shoulders? Uh, so they can run really fast. Um, okay, but why do they? Why do they what? Why do they run really fast? Well, if you are trying to fight someone or run away from someone, you want a very fast horse. And that's one of the things that made this region very strong for many thousands of years. Well, I am a saddlebred. You're a saddlebred. We'll get to saddlebreds when we get to the S's. So, uh, it's got a really high set tail, a uh, very my person, beautiful is horse, but kind of a long back. Um, this particular horse my is... Huh? Mine's ten year old. What? Mine's mine. Uh, my apple teke is three year old. Oh. Four year old. You have an apple teke. Five year Apple teke's are extremely rare. Uh, I think there's only about. It's fifteen year old. Really? Um, I think there's only about seven thousand in the registries right now, so they're very rare. Uh, I have personally only met two in my life when I worked on a, a thoroughbred ranch for a little while in college. Um, I got to meet a couple of these horses. The thing that struck me about them is how tall and skinny they are. Their, their chests are super narrow, like they're the size of me, you know, they don't have like a big horse chest or anything, they're just small and um, very fast and Why very are they smart. really big? Extremely they're smart. They're big. Um, they are big, yeah, and they move super fast. They could just be like, awesome. I never rode one because I was honestly, I felt too bulky on top of one. Um, but they were... Um, I want to write. Uh, let's draw right now. Okay, let's just draw. And anyways, they're beautiful, magnificent horses. Let's right? draw right now. Let's draw right now. So first things first, we're going to start off oh, by drawing this pretty Aquatex head. Now I'm going to switch it back uh -huh. down to time lapse. So, got our horse kind of blocked out here, and now as soon as I hold it up to you guys, I see all of my mistakes. You wow, made a mistake. Look at all those mistakes. So, I'm gonna go back and fix my mistakes. So, first mistake I have this chest is gigantic and huge. Um, sometimes when you're drawing flat on a table with a four year old next to you who's talking, whatnot, um, you know, you get really caught up in. in angles and and things that are not really there so you have to go back look at it from a different perspective always and see where the shoulders really go a lot lower like that and actually his head i made his head a little too arched so and then his back, his um, belly is longer in the photograph than it is in my drawing. And then the hip needs to be extended out even further. And the hock, this part is called the hock, um, which is the back joint of the back leg. Um, so that part actually needs to come out a lot further. 
sometimes these things are the only you can only see them really in the mirror and a lot of people I know use mirrors to judge their artwork before it's finished or they get you know really far back from it but it's very important to get another perspective on your art <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to correcting but let's um, let me just talk quickly about the angle of the head because the angle of the head is pretty important to get that blocked out so I'm drawing kind of a 3d version of his head. The horse, um, this horse has you know, the diamond shape, a flat diamond shape for between the eyes. Horses have this little space, it's like a diamond. Um, and extending onto, depending on the breed of the horse, sometimes they have a very thin, flat part on the nose, a flat bone. And sometimes, like with this horse, it's just very thin and arched a little bit, almost bowed out. So it's kind of what we call a Roman nose, but it's not. He doesn't have a huge Roman nose, it's just a tiny, tiny bow in the shape of his face. Um, and let's see, so his jaw should come down a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to go back into time lapse and show you how I corrected my drawing. So that's 99%. I joke but it's really 99% of everything is just editing <laughs> over and over and over again right? now let's draw the alicorn we will draw the alicorn next episode but first we're going to really make this aquateke look great okay mine looks great Wonders looks great this is Inanna's alicorn I mean this is Inanna's aquateke it sounds like alicorn Ta -da! <laughs> you know where that castle leads we to? So, let's talk about a few things that we changed here. I changed one. There we go. Um, to make it look a little bit more like this paint, this drawing, or this uh, photograph here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. All right, now it looks a lot more, a lot more similar. Um, I still have the head and neck a little too high. Can you tell I like to draw radians? <laughs> Mostly, that's what I draw. Um, but this horse is really fun to draw, and I, I still have a few things I'm going to work on, so I'll include that in the You can time. only see one hoof online, because cause <laughs> the, the, the... Is he standing in grass? Oh yeah, we lucked out on this one too. This, this photograph has him standing in grass, so I just... Uh, you know, we'll do the, I, I'm going to do an entire episode just on drawing horses. Now let's pose. draw the alicorn. Alicorn will come soon, but we're going to continue talking a little bit about the features of the Acolteque so that you can see, um, what I changed to make it look more like an Acolteque. Now, just to compare, this is my drawing of the Andalusian. Okay, so let's look at the, how different this horse is. First of all, they're both stallions, but this horse. No, that one's a mayor. Okay in your world. Um, so the Andalusian stallions, they don't ever really show a lot of definition in their neck. They have very thick crests on their neck and very thick crests on their butt. Um, and they have very strong hips, but they don't have a lot of definition in the muscle stru What's structure. Definition? definition means can you see the muscle? Acoltecas just naturally carry very, very little fat. They just don't carry a lot of fat. Even if you feed them a ton of food, they still stay very thin. I've, I've never heard of or seen it. Do they, An do they have like, babies? Yeah, they have babies. Yeah, when they have babies, they get a little bit big, but um, you still never see a thick crest on an Acolteque, usually, because they just burn off everything. Um, very well, high metabolism. Mine's having horses. a baby. I'm sure it's possible to make one fat. I just don't know. I've never seen it. Anyways, uh, so you see every muscle and every detail pretty much in the photographs of these horses. It's really fun to draw Acolteque musculature because you can see it. Um, at some point we're going to go through and just draw the muscles of a horse, but of course this changes with the conformation of the horse. So a draft horse is going to have different looking muscles than a thin, wiry, 
you know, racehorse or jumping horse. Can you please not draw on that? Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, also, another thing I want to talk about here is some materials when you have seen me use this little weird guy um, for erasing. This is called a kneaded eraser. Kneaded, like like K N E A. I'm sorry, K N E A D E D. Um, because you need it, but you also really need it. I got it. some toys and do hey, it. Hey, we're not doing that right now. Remember, we're doing drawing and we're talking about art supplies. So, what I generally am using to create um, just sketches is. The technical pencil. I prefer these. These erasers are amazing. They pick up almost all the graphite, um, so you can really clean up your drawing really well. And they're very cheap. Uh, Amazon, they're like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. Depends on how many you get in one pack. Um, so yeah, the kneaded eraser is like an invaluable thing. I love it. All right, so going back to the Acolteque, I'm not quite finished. Um, I'll do another time lapse on finishing up the details of him. Um, the next episode that we're going to be doing is on the alicorn. alicorn. I'll do it right now. Oh, oh wow, she's not tired anymore. Amazing. Um, always draw what you love. Don't draw something if you don't love drawing it. So I'm going to create a composite alicorn um, right now with real bird wings and a real horse. Wait. I'm probably going to use an Arabian. Um, okay, and do a shadow of red mane. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, don't have much mane, sweetie. Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please click subscribe if you would like us to do anything else. Uh, please click so or please let us know in the comments. And and if you want to see a toy video, you can always comment. Okay. Maybe someday we'll do toy videos too. But right now we're doing drawing videos because drawing is super fun. So. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you.